So this stage is partly defined by holding space for a possible additional dwelling unit in this area here. And so because that's undecided, we've, we've stopped the amending and planting uh, in this area. And the, the pathway uh, is defining the area that we know will not change. So we've got shade-loving plants in this little area here, these uh, poly poly ferns, which will get about three times the size they are now, are one of my favorites. Uh, and <clears throat> got a possible hammock location over here. And then uh, what we've what we've basically done is we've defined shapes with steel edging, uh, added some some touches with full color bluestone, and then uh, made a little bluestone patio with granite bench. And uh, we're in the first week after planting, and so everything is going to look about three four hundred percent bigger in about a year. Um, then we've added some lighting with uh, uh, an all brass set of fixtures. These little spots, you know, you don't see them hardly at all, but they add a tremendous amount of, of uh, warm white LED. And these are Salmon Bay uh, pebbles, which look lovely next to succulents. but. Why I like them is the opportunity to introduce more shape. Tremendous amount of design is the shape. And gardens like this are uh, primarily viewed from windows and decks. And so, you know, the client will be up on the deck looking down on this uh, five to ten times more than they'll actually be walking around in it. And so looking down from above, what's important is the sense of scale and, and shape. And so a patio like this down in the bottom is only going to be used about five, maybe even two percent of the time. But as a visual element and as a reason to descend the steps and explore, uh, it's inviting 100% of the time. And so uh, the strongest element, and it's actually the most cost-effective element because it's free, it's all design, is just defining uh, these different shapes and textures and the right scale uh, to view them at. And then, you know, as these succulents fill in, there'll be a tapestry of, of color and uh, probably a fire pit or uh, water feature and, and uh, table furniture of some kind. This is a uh, blue pathway finds that compacts almost as as hard as asphalt, but it of course looks dramatically nicer and is less expensive. And so it's a really good surface to allow freedom of uh, mobility and, and uh, uh, all kinds of patio furniture. Now in the front and in these old funkier gardens, uh, this is very often a drainage problem. This was a low spot all in here where puddling water would occur on the way to the front door. Um, and so we've, uh, we've tight-lined gutters into pipes that run into underground drains, and we've added uh, a little bit, you know, a couple of different areas. Here's another four-inch graded, another low spot where water would build up and actually make its way into the garage door. Uh, you can't do anything about a low spot other than to collect the water in the low spot. And this runs in a pipe over here. We again connected to this gutter over here, uh, tunneled along the side of the house. And then uh, we still have to clean our, our, our uh, 
plastic grates because we've just finished cementing in here but we've intercepted the water that runs down uh, towards the garage and taken the pipe under and drilled a new hole out through that that wall we've left the old hole for surface water but we've collected gutter water and put it under and so this is a a stage one um, with a stage two being uh, I don't usually suggest changing things unless there's something wrong with it or the client dislikes it so you know we would work with most of what's here these are nice shapes but uh, we might put in a new access here for uh, a separate rental unit under the house and soundproof that and bring in uh, with a nice grape stick stake curved fence or bamboo fence along here uh, just create a completely private entrance uh, around to the side which will be another uh, stage so this is kind of the starting point of many gardens a little bit old haphazard poorly scaled and you know poorly laid out areas and then you take them and make them a little bit better